Well, I would, I would say it is an opportunity to meet and strengthen uh, our relationship with the U.S. government, also with the, our development partners, business leaders, other African heads of state, and government. We will be able to uh, get to something that will be able to make us work together. Yes. But uh, as Africa and, uh, and the U.S., I think the relationship is so good that we have to bank on that and, w and make it much more stronger than where it is now. Before we go, talk to me a little bit about AGOA and what role it, it will play in helping businesses and as well as individuals in Lesotho. Look, uh, AGOA has been very, very, very helpful to our country and to our nation as well. Because uh, I think that is from 1967 when AGOA started in Lesotho. Uh, there's a lot of factories that have been built, which has given a uh, lot of jobs to our people. And uh, they have just been uh, working on the factories and uh, improving their lives. Uh, because, I mean, what was happening uh, is that uh, they, were, they would do their stuff in the factories and export it to the U.S. Uh, we have just negotiated this morning uh, with the senators uh, that we need to extend AGOA by 10 years because it's coming to an end in 2025. So we have already started negotiations in that part. AGOA is very, very, very important to us as a country. Yeah, what was the responses when you uh, talked to the senators about the extension of AGOA? Very positive. Very positive, I must say.